In times of sickness, we remember and honor those healers who have kept Pacific people well. The most famous source of these medical warriors is the Fiji School of Medicine, founded in 1884 as the Native Medical School at the Colonial Hospital in Suva. At the time, the racism of the colonial era limited the Pacific doctor's training. The graduate doctors were also denied professional status. Instead, they were referred to as native medical practitioners. The sexism of the colonial era also meant only men, not women, were admitted. Gifted Pacific women instead became nurses. And while colonial governments saw nursing as secondary to doctors, amongst many Pacific communities, nurses were seen as just as important in the community. This is another reason why amongst Pacific health workers today, nurses are seen as a formidable force. For thousands of years, Pacific cultures had each developed their own traditions of healing and well-being. Colonial rulers sought to erase Pacific healing traditions with the new medicine and dismissed indigenous healers as witch doctors. But most Pacific doctors and nurses operated in a world where traditional healing and biomedicine could live together. Some of the Pacific doctors were not just outstanding students, but came from families that were also traditional healers. The work of Pacific nurses and doctors helped bring together the power of indigenous knowledge and culture with that of scientific medicine. And in all this work, the Fiji School of Medicine has led the way, pioneering Pacific health research and practice, bringing together culture and medicine and providing the Pacific with so many of its health servants and leaders.